How's it going, guys? Now, for those of you guys that follow me a lot, you know that I am not very good at Battle Royale. I mainly focus on things like rank seasons and stuff like that. I just don't have the patience to play BR. When I do take it seriously, I can go 12-0. I have gone 12-0 multiple times. That's what I do in order to build my team uh, beginning of the year. That's what I try to do to get my stubs. I try to get that player that everybody wants out of the BR rewards and then sell them at the high price, then get my stubs for my team. That's my main source of income when it comes to in-game currency is that and being one of the first to get World Series rewards. That's always how I go about building my team. So today I'm going to show you guys my strategy on how to draft a proper Battle Royale draft. Now I know you guys can find videos like this everywhere, but I like to assume that you guys would like to see how I do it as kind of a top player and one of the best in the world. So I want to show you guys my specific strategy on how to do it and how I think you can get the best advantage on basically putting yourself in a position to go 12-0 in Battle Royale. So our opening diamond round, which is where you want to get your best guy, we have Wade Boggs, Tory Hunter, and Tony Gwynn. Now in this situation, I try to think about which positions have the lowest amount of high value guys. Positions you want to go for are positions like catcher, shortstop, second base. These positions, there's not a lot of huge high power studs that you can choose from. In this situation, center field is definitely the area that is the most scarce when it comes to high power and high quality BR guys, for example. If this were ranked seasons, I would probably want Tony Gwynn out of all of these guys. But in this situation, I'm going to pick Tory Hunter because he's a good fielder, which is important in BR because there's a lot of common and bronze fielders that'll mess up your run with one error. So I'm going to pick Tory Hunter because he's kind of like a poor man's Willie Mays. He has really good hitting stats, great fielding stats, high speed. He's a perfect guy to have at the top of the order. So I'm going to pick Tory Hunter here. Now right here, it's a silver round. Silver round, usually you want to get like a high power guy, somebody who's good, such as like a Luke Voigt, uh, before it was Gary Sanchez, a catcher, Edwin Encarnacion, guys like that. But you could also use it to get bullpen arms. Silver rounds are my favorite rounds for bullpen arms because you're not wasting a diamond on it, but you're also getting a nice quality arm. You figure that bullpen arms are the most important, yet also the least important somehow. I'm going to explain that a little bit. The reason bullpen arms are the most important is because you can decide when you're putting them in. Your main pitching is going to be with these guys. You have to face one batter with your starter, who's either going to be a common or a bronze. And then the rest of the game is all bullpen. So you want guys that you know are going to do well. The reason why it's not something you want to think about too much is because you're not going to be facing a lot of batters with some of these guys. Oliver Perez is a guy that you can put... He's a, he has a good pitch arsenal for BR. He has a funky delivery, which makes it easy to use him. And he's a lefty. So you could bring him in against the guys like Gallo, Ted Williams, Lou Gehrig, and put yourself in a good situation. But you're probably going to end up taking him out a few batters later. So don't overthink it too much by getting these diamonds and these golds. Silver rounds is where I try to attack my bullpen pieces. So right here, I'm going to get Oliver Perez, a quality lefty arm, a very good pick. Another silver round. Now we have Craig Stammen who has a sinker, which is a very good pitch in any game mode. Brandon Bell is a first baseman. First baseman's tough because you can get a guy with high power in a bronze round, also a silver round, but this just isn't that quality of a guy to be picking right here. And you have Gio Urshela who, wow, his hitting stats are a lot better than I remember. He's clearly gotten an upgrade. He's a diamond hitter actually. Um, his fielding's at 59. He plays first base, second base, shortstop. Hmm, I think I'm going to have to stick with my guns and go with Craig Stammen because, like I said, you can get... There's gold rounds where you could get guys like... Um, you could get a Josh Donaldson at third. You could also get some good silver guys that rake at third base, like Sano. So I'm going to go ahead and go Craig Stammen and not waste my third base position right now because... Gio Urshela doesn't have a lot of power, and power is something that is very important to me in BR. Okay, we got a diamond round. Now, this is tough because I love Danny Santana. I love him so much. But 
he's a first baseman. That sucks. The reason that sucks is because like I explained to you, first baseman is a high value spot where you could get a guy as a silver or a bronze that can cover that first base spot just fine. But I could always move him to second base and shortstop. I'm just wasting that first base pick. I think I'm going to pick him because obviously his sitting stats are impeccable and he's a switch hitter that I could put at second base or shortstop. Um, Lee Smith is a very good bullpen arm. The only thing that I've been stressing to you guys is that I don't like to use a diamond pick on the bullpen very much. I got to go Danny Santana. He's a switch hitter. I think he'll hit a lot of home runs for us in this run. I'm going to pick him. Now, this is a great pick at shortstop because it is hard to find a good shortstop. He has great hitting stats. His fielding's not that good, but as a gold round, it is a pretty quality shortstop guy to have. You don't want to get stuck with a guy like Freddie Galvis or something like that at short. But Seth Lugo is obviously pretty good too. Um, I'm going to go Tim Anderson because I've used him before and he's a good player. I've gotten 12 and 0s with him a couple times. So that's going to be our shortstop. Okay, we're finally at a bronze round. Um, this is actually a very good bronze round because Matt Kemp can obviously hit home runs. His fielding's terrible. He probably will make some errors for you. But best case scenario, he ends up on our bench and we get a guy who's better fielding uh, in the outfield. But Matt Kemp in a bronze round, that's a high value pick. You see his hitting stats. It's very good for a bronze. Uh, kind of like those are hitting stats you may find on a silver or gold. So I'm going to definitely pick him for left field. Okay, we're at another bronze round. This round's a little, uh, sorry, this round's a little tougher. Nobody that good. So we are going to go ahead and pick a starting pitcher. When you're in a position in a bronze, okay, here's the important, right? For lefties, I if I can get a lefty reliever that's a low level guy, I just pick him. Cuz no matter what for some guys lefty lefty is a hard uh, is a hard matchup for them. So right here, a bronze, uh, we have a common round. We it's not going to be a wasted round because we're going to get a lefty reliever out of it. So there we go. Now, silver round, we have Pedro Sarope we never waste a silver, gold, or diamond pick on starters. A lot of you guys already know that probably. I'm just reminding you guys just in case. Pedro Strope, I actually really like as a pick. Brian Dozier's hitting stats aren't as good anymore. Kyle Seeger. Yeah, we're going Pedro Strope right here. So we got two righties and a good lefty. Like I said, we save that silver pick with Gio Ursula. We get Miguel Sano. Good power awesome pick for a silver round we got him locked in at third base now another silver round another quality silver arm jordan hicks he can hit 102 he has a sinker he has a slider there we go baby our bullpen's already looking good and we haven't had to use a gold or diamond we have two gold rounds left and a diamond round this could end up being a great draft now right here none of these bats are quality bats none of them are that good so what we do is we go to Tyler Cloyd and we waste a bronze pick on a starter, which is not a problem. Okay, for this pick, we have Austin Nola as a catcher. Catchers are very scarce and it's hard to get a good one. We're not going to waste a pick on Austin Nola because his hitting stats just aren't good enough. Uh, we have Colton Wong, not good enough, and Yasiel Puig. He's a decent fielder, he has a good arm, and his bat's not that bad. This isn't the best round, but it's not the worst pick either. We're going to pick Puig and hope he guns some guys out and makes this pick worth it. And we may have just gotten very lucky. Strasburg with a 50 stamina could be a huge guy to have on this team. Now, I know I said I don't like to use diamond guys on bullpen that often, but... Our lineup right now is already looking so good, and I'm not sure if any of these guys, these diamond bats aren't necessarily good enough to pass up. His stamina is a 50. That's so huge. That is huge because he can pitch for us for a while. I think this could be a way to get an easy 12-0. I'm going to try this out, you guys, because I've never had a reliever with a 50 stamina that I could have in the bullpen. He could be huge. I mean, he could he could go all three, potentially, if I need him to. He obviously has good stuff. He has the pitch arsenal I would want. 
I mean, if there was a guy like Stanton or Judge or somebody of that sort, maybe I would pick him. But they're just not that good. You know, I, I got to I gotta go Strass, man. Lefty reliever. We get a bronze round. We get a high value pick at bronze. We get our three lefties and we have all silver righties. This is what I feel is a perfect bullpen in BR. I love it. Okay, so right here, like I said, not not that good of bats. We're going to pick Andrew Kashner. What we're going to do is we're going to hope for either Devin Mazzarocco, Gary Sanchez, or I can't remember any of the other catchers, or Josh Fegley. Those are the three gold catchers I would like to see. If we get one of those guys, we are living good. Another, I like to go starter lefties because a lot of guys will have, um, if I have the option to get a lefty starter, I pick a lefty starter because there's a lot of guys that'll have their stud lefty like Schwarber, Logan Morrison, Pedro Alvarez, those high power guys batting lead off, try to take advantage of some of these guys like uh, these common pitchers. So I like to get a lefty in there as much as I can. Okay. And like I said, we're, oh, wait. Okay. I was going to pick CC, but Brandon Lowe, this is a high qual this is a high value pick at second base. He has good power versus both sides for a bronze. He has a silver fielding shield. Uh, I'm definitely going to pick Brandon Lowe here. Yeah, that's a that's a decent bronze pick. I like that a lot. Chirinos, that is a good pick for catcher. We get a silver catcher that is absolutely fine. He has high power versus righties, decent power versus lefties. He can hit tanks. I was completely forgetting about him as a silver. I love this pick. I absolutely love this pick. And okay, we could have gotten screwed right here. They could have making us pick a gold, uh, a gold starting pitcher, which would have been the worst case scenario because we would have had to waste a gold and kind of ruin a good draft by having a gold starter in the rotation. You never want a gold starter or a high level starter in your rotation because there's literally no point. You have a one in five chance of even rolling him. And once you pinch hit him, he's gone anyways. There's just no reason to. There's absolutely no reason to. So we get our second lefty as a starter. We're gonna have two golds on our bench. Hopefully we can replace some of the guys that we don't really care for. Like um, we could replace Matt Kemp and have Matt Kemp be a, a bench bat. Um, we, there's a lot of things we can do right now. I'm l absolutely loving this draft. Let's see who we're going to have. Okay, so for the common positions, right? On my bench, what I'm looking for is a backup guy who can play a lot of positions, such as Drew Robinson. If I need to substitute somebody, he can play damn near any position. That's one good thing for him. I want a guy like Drew Robinson. That's who I'm probably going to pick for this. That is who I'm going to pick. Oh, no, no, no. I take that back. I'm going to pick Peter O'Brien because he's a backup catcher and he can play a lot of positions as well. It's easy to find a Drew Robinson. It's not as easy to find a Peter O'Brien. So I'm going to pick Peter O'Brien and make sure I have that backup catcher on my bench. He's also not that bad of a bat to bat against lefties in case I need that. So I'm going to pick Peter O'Brien. But before I move on, what I try to do is try to make sure I get a couple guys that have decent legs on the bench. Preferably 75 speed or higher in case I need a pinch run in a situation. In BR, it's only three innings. Those situations are very important when you need a score. So I'm going to be looking for guys like that and guys with high power of lefties and righties. Okay, let's hope we get that. We get our backup catcher. That's check one. Okay. Wow. Wow. This is a good bronze, this is a good cold round. I told you guys I wanted Gary Sanchez. Oh man. But we got Roberts, we got Robinson Trinos. And then like I said, I want speed. And we got Trey Turner. Ah, Trey Turner's feeling so bad though. It's, it's almost okay we're not getting him. I could get Gary Sanchez, put him on, put him as my starting catcher and have Robinson Trinos on my bench and that's a crazy good bench bat hmm. man what a good round we gotta go Gary Gary rakes man Gary absolutely rakes okay we get our speedy guy we get the speedy guy on the bench you guys this draft is going exactly how I wanted it to it's going exactly how I wanted to show you how to draft 
I'm going to draft the speedy guy so he can pinch run in case of a situation. Let's say I needed a pitch run for Gary Sanchez after he hit a single or a double. I pinch run with Michael um, Hermosillo, I think that's how you pronounce it. And as soon as I pinch hit, I got Robinson Trinos. That's going to be on my bench. I could plug him in for Gary Sanchez, who was replaced with Michael Hermosillo. And I will have a situation where I still have a good bat at catcher. I'll have a replacement guy. I'll get that runner over. I'll score. I'll win. I'll go 12-0. I'll get as many stubs as I want. And I'll buy my mother a house with it. So let's go. Okay. Now here, 73 speed. That's not bad. Backup outfielder. We'll do it. We'll do it. I said 75 or higher. He's 73. That's fine. Now for this gold, this gold will be very important. We're going to hope we get somebody who can play left field. That, that'd be ideal. We would Like a guy like Nelson Cruz would be nice. Charlie Blackman. Um, guys of that sort, you know. So we're going to get we're gonna get him, get that 73 speed, and let's hope for a good, good pick right now. Charlie Blackman. If this isn't exactly how I planned it out, if you guys couldn't tell by how I'm speaking, I said Nelson Cruz or Charlie Blackman. They gave me Nelson Cruz or Charlie Blackman. Let's go, dude. Okay. So we're, we're going to replace Matt Kemp with Charlie Blackman right there. He's our worst fielder. Luckily, he's in left field, so we'll have to depend on him the least. Now, the way I construct my lineup is this. I'm going to have Charlie Blackman batting lead off because odds are you're going to be facing a common righty, so you want to take advantage of him. Danny Santana is going to bat second because I want him to bat against whoever... Uh, I mean, sorry, Torrey Hunter is going to bat second because he's my best hitter, and I want my best hitter batting second always. Then I'm going to have Danny Santana batting third because he's most likely going to face the best pitcher, and he'll have the platoon advantage no matter what. Gary Sanchez batting cleanup. He's an absolute animal. Look at those hitting attributes. He's going to hit a lot of jacks for me, I promise you. Batting fifth, we are going to have Miguel Sano. Then we're going to have Tim Anderson batting sixth, Brandon Lau batting seventh, and Yasiel Puig batting eighth. I'm going to make sure Robinson Torinos is right there. Matt Kemp's going to be the first of our bench to hit. We're going to have our backup catcher at the bottom. We're not really going to need him, so Peter O'Brien was kind of a wasted pick, which is okay because he's a common, and we have our two speedy guys right there. All right? So we are absolutely set. We'll actually put Peter O'Brien right there to remind us that we have a backup first baseman if needed. We have pretty much everything covered. We're going to have our first lefties off the bench right here, Oliver Perez, Boone Logan. Our first righty, we have Steven Strasburg too. You guys, this is an absolute amazing draft. I mean, this is truly an amazing draft right here. We have an, a perfect bullpen. We didn't have to waste a starter. We got pretty much all common starters. And our lineup is absolutely nutty. Okay? It is absolutely insane. I'm going to play one game with you guys to show you kind of how I strategize it. And then that will be it. Okay, we're going to hope for home team because home team goes through the least amount of BS. It seems like the game plays a lot smoother. A lot of you guys may know that already, but I promise you that it's good to be home team in Battle Royale. We're visiting team. That's unfortunate. We're playing the Milwaukee Stilts. Wilt the Stilt. Let's see what his team's looking like. Clayton Richards, so he has a common lefty. We're going to have to face lefty-lefty with Charlie Blackman, but that's fine. He has Charlie Blackman leading off. Troy Tulowitzki, Mark Canna, Yasmani Grandal. His team is nasty. Now for BR, it's important. Make sure you wait on your pitch to hit, okay? It is very important. You cannot waste any at-bats in, in Battle Royale. You cannot waste any at-bats. You want to make sure you get that pitch to hit and take advantage of it. Good pitch. See, that's a pitch that was a strike, but I didn't want to take a cut on it because... All right, we waited on our pitch to hit. We hit it hard. We lined out. It's unfortunate. I hate my life. All right, Tory Hunter, let's go. See, we got good good on it. Unfortunately, it was a line out. Let's see what Tory does. 3-0, let's go. Like I said, be patient. Wait on your pitch and BR. It's only three innings. You only have nine outs to work with. You got to get your guys on base. You got to get your guys home. Everyone, let's go. We get the walk. All right. 
Now we got our platoon advantage right now. Danny Santana. No matter who he puts in, we have a platoon advantage. Lefty, righty. All right, so we still got a righty. He's got Billy Wagner in. High quality arm. But this is what I meant about platoon advantage, guys. And we hit into a double play, of course, because my name is Kyle, and that's all I do ever. Okay, now very important. Even though you can't take them out yet, make sure to warm up your guys right away so they're ready. As soon as you put them in your bullpen, hit mound visit, okay? They'll be halfway warmed up already. By the time you're done with this, you mound visit again. Your guys will have a full, uh, a full bar, and they'll be fully warmed up, right? You have to keep in mind when you're facing this leadoff guy that you have a common pitcher, so you can't make any mistakes. You don't want to let him hit a home run. You got to try to pitch around him a little bit. Try to make him swing at something that he shouldn't be swinging at. Hope that you get to jam him or you get a lucky sw swing and strike three or weak contact. Let's go. That's that's okay. That's okay. We get our first out. Now in come the stud arms. Let's go. Now, before you put one of your guys in, like I said, mound visit. Now that you see they're fully warmed up almost, pay attention who you have do up. I got Troy Tulowitzki, righty, Mark Canna, righty, Yasmani Grandal, switch hitter. I'm going to go to a righty because I'm facing more righties. There you go. We got him on a 1-2 count. Don't want to give him anything crazy to hit. Hopefully, we make him chase. We made him chase, but he fouled it off because this is MLB The Show 19 where they let you foul off pitches that are three miles below the zone. Let's go curveball right here. Good hit, 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 good hit. Oh, Puig's arm. Puig's arm. Anyways, there we go. Okay, so he's very late on those uh, those fastballs, so we just got to make sure we get them in the zone when we throw them. We get a hard line drive, and luckily we catch it. That's two outs. We're one out away from getting out of it. Yasmani Grandal. He definitely has the off speed timed a little better, so we're going to try to expose him with fastballs. There we go. There we go, baby. Let's go. 3 0. I'm not gonna swing. I'm gonna I'm gonna let him come to me. Three one. Okay. Now we're gonna look for something right in the zone. AKA I'm gonna swing at a ball that I shouldn't swing at. Now even though that may have been a strike on three and one, there's no reason to swing at that pitch. See, that's a pitch that could have been called a strike, but there's no point in swinging at it because I'm not gonna be able to hit it hard. Sano hits it hard. To his glove. Tim Anderson, I'm going to make sure that I have a righty warming up. I don't. You always want to make sure you got your guys warming up in the bullpen for when you need them. I hit that well. It's too bad we didn't launch that and get that out of the ballpark. For Tim Anderson, I'm just going to look, try to jump on a fastball to send it out of here. And we hit a fastball right where we want it. As hard as we can and for some reason it did nothing that seems to happen a lot now so we just got to keep pitching hope Strasburg can be that horse that we it's the reason we got him got that high stamina we need to rely on him get that weak contact Sano to Sano action that's hot gotta get him to speed up that bat oh god lord have mercy on my soul there we go. There we go. Come on, Tori. This is why we got Tori. This is why we got Tori. That's why we got Tori. I'm telling you, boy. Let's go. Not everybody could chase that down. So I'm going to use Robert Centrinos in this situation to try to get a home run. Because I only have three I have only have three outs left to try to get a run before he gets his last ups. And I do not want to face Billy Wagner with Brandon Lau. So I got guys on my bench for platoon advantage for a reason. Hopefully we take advantage of it. Let's go. One thing to keep in mind, you guys, right? They can't keep their studs in forever. You work counts, you make good counts, you get guys on base, their guys will get tired. He ended up putting a fastball right down the middle for me. Smacked it. 
We got a lead off guy on first. He has Gagne too, bro. Luckily, Puig's better against righties, so we're going to try to make something happen still. We got a man on first and second with no outs. Matt Kemp. That's why we got him on the bench. Let's go, baby. Let's go. We got our guys warming up still, right? We got Oliver Perez. He can come in and face Yastrzemski and Carly Blackman. That's two lefties. We have a nice lefty on the bench. If we score this run, we will seal this game. I should have murdered that ball. I should be in prison. Oh, man. Okay. We get to third. We get to third with a runner that is slower than than a snail. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Robinson Trinos is on third right now. He has a 21 speed. We're taking him out, and we are putting in Michael Hermosillo because if I hit a sack fly, he's more likely to score. Okay? And then I will replace him appropriately after. You will see how I do that. Charlie Blackman. Charlie Blackman. Oh my god, that got caught somehow. I thought that was a gapper. That's why I put the 84 speed in. Score easily on a sack fly. We are in a position to win the game now. Come on, Tori. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We're going to stay at second. We got our Danny Santana up, ready to clutch it out after grounding into a double play before. Let's go, baby. He's showing us why I didn't waste a pick on him. I didn't waste a pick on you, right? Right? Somebody please kidnap him away from my team, please. All right. It's okay. We're good. We are good. Okay, I'm going to put in Oliver Perez right now. We got a... A couple lefty lefty matchups I like where we're at but when you pinch run and everything make sure you know what you're doing and make sure you have the guys to do it Danny Santana plays first base we're gonna switch him with Michael Hermosillo right we have a second base a guy at second base that plays it Michael Hermosillo does not play first base but we know Peter O'Brien on our bench does we replace him with him we now have guys everywhere that play their proper position and we're ready to finish this game off Good luck hitting Oliver Perez, buddy. Good luck hitting Oliver Perez. Good luck. Best of luck hitting Oliver Perez. You're out of luck. You're not going to hit Oliver Perez. See you later. Pablo Sandoval. Look at those overwhelming stats versus lefties. Hmm. I think I'd rather have my little sister up in a clutch situation than him. Let's go. Two outs, baby. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Now we're facing a good hitter, but we do have the lefty-lefty advantage, so let's just try to get this out, not try to get too cute. And the game is over. Hopefully, Toy Hunter be a man. Let's go. Thank you, Lord. Okay, so you guys seen my strategy. You seen how I like to draft. Make sure to study it. Try out a BR draft. Let me know in the comments below not only how your drafts go from here on out, but who your favorite player to draft in Battle Royale is. Let me know, please. Let me know in the comments. Leave a thumbs up if you guys liked the video. Make sure to hit subscribe if you haven't yet. I'll see you guys soon. Thank you very much. Peace.